These are the best men's long-lasting clone fragrances, in my opinion. With clone fragrances, you are saving yourself a lot of money by taking really expensive fragrances usually, and going for usually much cheaper fragrances that are around, let's say, a fifth of the price or even more less than that. And with clone fragrances, sometimes they can be absolute hits or it can be an absolute miss. Some clone fragrances are unfortunately short lasting. Let's say Zara's Vibrant Leather, which is a clone of Creed Aventus, that's quite a short lasting clone or a fragrance like Miss Sony Wave. You know, it's a nice fragrance. It's not too bad in its longevity, but it's definitely shorter lasting than the fragrance is trying to clone, which is Allure on Sports. So today I thought I'd give you guys some clone fragrances that give you excellent value for money, but still maintain longevity for those of you guys who insist you get performance with your fragrances. We have eight fragrances here, let's begin. Hey guys, if you don't know already, Atrium Fragrance, our own fragrance brand, will be releasing our office fragrance titled Mr. Elegance. It'll be the next release coming out in January 2024. However, this release is only available as a pre-order for five days in the last week of January for a maximum of 400 bottles. To make sure you do not miss out on this release, click in the description down below to be notified of when it's going to be available so you can acquire your bottle. Thank you. Al Haramain's Detour Noir. An excellent, probably 95% similar clone to Parfum de Marley's Leighton. Fresh, powdery, spiced apple pie with a dry, vanillic backbone. Beautiful perfumery, there's a beautiful, sexy DNA that really hasn't dropped that much in its quality when you clone it with Detour Noir. It's about an eighth of the price of Leighton and you still get fantastic quality and fantastic longevity around 10 hours with a medium projection. So Leighton itself is definitely a higher quality fragrance, but this is still very impressive for its price tag and Leighton lasts about 14 hours of media projection. This is 10 hours, still very good. So apart from the funny bottle shape, I think this is one of the best clones in the industry right now. Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Parfum by Armaf. We were just talking about Vibrant Leather not being a long lasting Creed Aventus clone. That is often the case with uh, a lot of Aventus clones, but this is the clone to go for if you want Creed Aventus, a clone of it, but with longevity. It doesn't smell as high quality as Aventus. I would say this is around 90% similar. The more similar clone would be Al Haramain's Lavin Shore, which is also pretty good, lasts about eight hours. But if you want longevity and you want, I would say, you know, a high complement factor, this will get you that as well as 12 hours longevity with a medium projection. This is like a, a more smoky batch variation of Aventus. Long lasting, smoky, musky. It's beautiful perfumery here. And I think it's an easy choice for a guy who wants an affordable, and luxurious smelling signature franks where most of the year round. 32% of people who watch School of Scent are subscribed to us. If you guys wanna see our channel grow, to really help us out, click subscribe. Let's get that number to 40%, thank you. Rocho's Mustache Eau de Parfum. This is a 95% similar clone to YSL's Tuxedo. I really do think because it smells so similar, it kind of makes Tuxedo a little bit redundant. I'm disappointed by how close these two fragrances are and how uh, not that long lasting Tuxedo is either. Actually, I think this clone gives you slightly better longevity. So Tuxedo is the spiced, ambery, rose based perfume that is very romantic, warm and enticing. It's a nice DNA uh, and Mustache pretty much gets that very similar, but maybe the spiciness isn't as photorealistic. So it's maybe less use of spices, not as many as uh, as Tuxedo, but Tuxedo lasts about six to eight hours, whilst this lasts about eight hours. Both of them have a soft projection, so they're not beast mode fragrances, and they kind of don't need to be for the same profile they're going for, but with this often being, what, an eighth of the price of Tuxedo, uh, I do think this is much better value for money. It's probably the choice I will make between the two easily any day, but of course, you gotta just wait for this sometimes. It's not always extremely cheap. You gotta, you gotta be patient and wait for it to be on discount. Lot of us acid. This is my preferred Dior Sauvage Elixir. So it's a clone of that fragrance, but that fragrance is extremely intense, spicy, and masculine, a little bit synthetic as well. Even in the dead of winter, I couldn't handle Sauvage Elixir. Call me what you want to call me, guys, but I just didn't like it. And what I like about Assad is that it's a lot more reduced in its intensity. It's a lot more wearable as a clone. It's not as good quality smelling, but it still smells good quality for its price, if that makes sense. And even though they've reduced the intensity, it doesn't last as long as Sauvage Elixir, which is around 12 hours with a medium to loud projection. This is more of a 10 hours long lasting fragrance with a medium projection, which is still very good. And it's excellent value for the money. It's like 20 to 30 pounds, which is an absolute bargain. And so I personally would choose this over Sauvage Elixir. Afnan's 9pm. An excellent clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramount, which again for me, 
can be quite sweet, headache inducing as well, also a little bit intense. This kind of balances it out, makes that sweet pear bubblegum fragrance more versatile, more fresh, so you can wear it in the daytime and in the evening as a nice signature. If you're a young guy who wants a nice, sexy, bubblegum-esque fragrance, this is an excellent fragrance to go for. And you get 10 hours, or eight to 10 hours of longevity with a medium projection. This is excellent, youthful, sexy perfumery, in my opinion, and a really surprisingly great clone of Ultraman. I don't think it needs to be cloned initially, but uh, they've managed to absolutely smash it out of the park. Alexandria Fragrances, Black Panther. This is a clone of Bulgari's Thai Gar, which is a very simple and probably overpriced fragrance of grapefruit, sandalwood, and ambroxan. Those are the main ingredients. It's a nice, very mainstream, pleasant fragrance, but I think it's just overpriced. Now, maybe the grapefruit is a little bit more photorealistic in Thai Gar, but other than that, this is a very similar clone. Again, probably 95% similar, maybe a little bit more musky, but it's very similar. It smells extremely high quality, for its price, and in my opinion, again, I would think that Thai Gar becomes redundant to purchase when this exists. I think this is an excellent signature around eight to 10 hours longevity, fresh, light, citrusy, musky, but still long lasting. This is an easy, dumb reach fragrance. If you want a high quality, expensive smelling, dumb reach scent that makes you just feel like a boss because you got Thai Gar for a much better price, Black Panther is one fragrance not to sleep on. That means carved oud. Now this is a bit of a funny entrance to this list because, so this is a clone of Tom Ford's oud wood, but it's a similarly priced fragrance to oud wood. Oud wood got reformulated and a lot of people got annoyed that it doesn't smell as rich as it used to. Some people say it doesn't give them performance anymore in terms of longevity. This has longevity. This is eight to 10 hours longevity with a more rich uh, take on oud wood, kind of what it used to be in its older days. It's a more rich, warm, ambery version of oud wood. Maybe oud wood in its current formulation is a little bit better suited to warmer weather, whilst this is a little bit better suited to cold weather, but you wear them in similar seasons. It's still woody, still synthetic oud most likely. Um, it's got nice balance, sharpness, masculinity in here. So it's a sexy signature like the oud wood DNA is. But eight to 10 hours longevity, soft to medium projection. It's a very sexy signature. So if you are disappointed by current formulations of oud wood, and try out carved oud. And to finish off this list with fragrance number eight, I'll mention Rasasi's La Yukawam Porom, which I've only owned a sample of, but that is one fragrance that's absolutely monstrous. It is a clone of Tuscan leather. Tuscan leather itself is not a very safe or beginner friendly leather fragrance. You must love leather perfumery to get into it. And La Yukawam kind of takes that. It was already quite a strong fragrance, Tuscan leather, but it makes it even stronger. And again, it might be another case where you don't really need to buy Tuscan leather whilst La Yukawam exists. It is beastly, monstrous Middle Eastern clone perfumery that last, from what I remember, around 12 hours with a medium to loud projection. It's a very loud fragrance, actually. It's a room filler. So if you want a monstrous leather scent, go for La Yuko. And that concludes this video, guys. What clone fragrances do you think have excellent longevity that people should check out? Leave your suggestions in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on the list I've mentioned here today, guys? Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out our previous video on clone fragrances. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.